So it's gone back to a bit more par for the course in the championship. We find ourselves in the lower mid-table regions, but it's still been a pretty good season so far. Roll the intro. No, I won't stop. Hello and welcome back to the Cultured Left Foot YouTube channel. I am Cultured Left Foot and it's a pleasure to have you with me. Um, this is the Homegrown Hero Save where we're trying to take my beloved hometown folks in Evicta all the way to Champions League glory. And we've got them to the Sky Bet Championship, so we're doing pretty well at the moment. Um, and today we're facing off against Charlton. If you're enjoying the series, please do leave a like um, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Subscribe account continues to grow, which is wonderful. Uh, we have got a Discord channel, uh, Patreon, Teespring, adverts, all that sort of good shit down below in the comments, in the des description. Um, just go and have a look and sign up to whatever you please. You can follow me on Twitter, at CulturedF as well, which is always good. But that's enough of that intro stuff. Um... Let's go and have a look at results. It's been a mixed bag, mainly with red, because we are definitely not ready to face the big teams in the championship. Um, last episode was the disappointing Aston Villa uh, Middlesbrough. Was it Aston Villa Middlesbrough? I think it was Aston Villa Middlesbrough, where we lost both games 4 2 um, and 3 1. We then played Ipswich Town, lost to them 2 1 as well. Beat Hull City away from home 3 1, which was really good. Uh, and then drew with Brentford 1 1 at home. Beat Doncaster 1 0 at home, who are really struggling this season in the Championship. And uh, lost very convincingly to Birmingham City 4 0. They were so much better than us. It was ridiculous. And today we're going to be playing Charlton and Barnsley as we get to the middle of October. It has left the table looking like this. So at the top, Blackburn, Sheffield Wednesday, Hull and Brentford. Um, we are down in 16th, Charlton in 20th. And as I said, Doncaster really struggling this season down in 24th. But, uh, you know, it's a, this is our game in hand against Charlton. And if we could win it, we can go potentially... Well, it would probably be 14th. So up two places to go back above Birmingham. But uh, it's been... An interesting season. We are still sticking with the three at the back formation and the squad are doing pretty damn well as well. So goals wise, Milner and McKenzie five apiece, which is really good. Um, assists wise, four for Milner, three for Harris and then ones all across the board. We have got some news, some important news. Um, this guy, Dejan Radjic, has 24 clubs interested in him. Big names as well. Watford, Swansea, Sheffield United, Newcastle, Leeds, Hull. Uh, he wants to move to Brighton, I think, or Newcastle. Now, we're trying to hold out for £10 million for him. That's what we've... Brighton made a bid of um, £3 million. We got him up to 4.3. I rejected it because I wanted 10 And he said, oh, uh, I want you to sell me. And I said, only if they come in with a good enough offer. And he was like, I'd be delighted if you accept £10 million. I went, yeah, all right, because that's what I want. So... Yeah, it's, uh, it's going all right. Big bad news, though, if you can have big bad news, is the fact that in the medical centre we can see Will Dennis is out for two more weeks, which is really, really annoying because he has still kept his place as our first-choice goalkeeper and has done really well. It is going to give Mike Cooper an opportunity to get that position, but he hasn't started brilliantly. Obviously, the the debacle when he came on at half-time and then conceded three goals didn't help his cause in the last episode but he's going to get a chance um, and it does mean that other new signing Brett Bridge comes in to the substitute bench as well as the youngster so it'll be interesting to see here how he progresses it's it's, it's going all right it's going all right I've got to just stay grounded and you know hope upon hope that we don't get relegated and I think we've got enough about us to stay up to be honest um, we are doing well everyone is still enjoying being at the club you can see by the morale obviously I've got hints and tips about keeping morale up and my five top five tips for football manager video will be coming out sometime soon i'm going on holiday this weekend and i'm away all week so it'll probably be done after i get back from that but into the game then uh, cooper in goal Selva, trotter and luznik at the back luznik's forehead has suddenly got a lot bigger lorea kokobinski at left wing back not his natural position generally does really well there uh, medina and harris in the middle sirake mckenzie and milner starts up front uh, they're lining up also with a three at the back of formation with uh, Yeboah having a cracking moustache. Ahmed Yeboah, 19-year-old Ghanaian, tackling nine. Normally a fullback starting at centre-back for them. Interesting. That may be why they're struggling. Um, assertively, I expect to see a much better performance. They love that. 
love it. I mean, they lost 4-0 to Birmingham, so it can't get much worse. Let's go positive. Let's go on the attack and see what we can do as a Silva into Laria on the right-hand side. And as I said, the foot, other than the Birmingham game, we haven't actually been playing that much bad football. We've been dominating a few games, just lacking a cutting edge, if you will. It was Harris, shot straight away, touched over the bar by Lesler in goal. And uh, within 30 seconds, we get off to a very good start indeed. So ball in. Luzhny can't get there. Sims heads it away. Salaki tries to get Anderson, just puts his foot through it. So, yes, a win would be very useful for us today to get us back up into 14th. Not quite non-scrolling zone in the league table, but that's all right. Milner back to Luznik. Luznik all the way back to Cooper. And uh, it's uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a, day, a game we can dominate possession and create some chances. Milner into McKenzie. Great ball out to Kokovinsky. Now he cuts back onto his right foot a lot. Gives this one to Harris. Harris lays it back. Medina hasn't scored for the club yet, Medina. Goes back to Laria. Laria on the right-hand side. Gets to the ball and crosses it in. Milner with a header. Too close to Lesler. And he just uh, dives on the ball. And, uh, well, he's put the ball down. And this is going to go long. And Anderson beats Laria to it. And he's offside. So, not not a problem, really. Let's demand some more. Charlton aren't... Hang on, let me hold that thought. Because the shot is blocked. Price picks it up. He's forced backwards. Great ball out to Galvez on the other side. Galvez cuts in field, shoots. And, well, it was spilt by Cooper. Because I was about to say, Charlton aren't very good. So, I am going to demand more of the guys but um i think yeah let's see we've got to scroll down quite a way now as uh, harris has the ball in his hands we've already seen one goal in this save where a keeper just kicks it against the man in front of him and uh Lassure goes out to galvez on the right hand side for charlton back to price over the top looking for sims beaten in the air medina can't get there laranjo beats him to it anderson laranjo back to purrington charlton starting to move the ball around into laranjo laranjo out to galvez into morgan galvez out to Gray. They are overloading us on the wings at the moment. Galvez again. Ball in. Anderson. Cooper with a good save. Yeah, it's a weird five at the back formation with wingers. It's a, a formation I've seen other people come up against on um, on YouTube and stuff when the AI play it. And it's quite an interesting one to try and counteract. I guess if we focus through the middle, that may make a difference because they haven't got large numbers there and we have. As a Larea into Harris. Harris comes forward. Out it goes to Kokobinski. Kokobinski fires it across goal, but not the best of shots. I say we have really had the better of the game. We just need to make something happen. Luznik plays a 1-2 with Harris from the throw. Trotter back into Harris. Back to Trotter. Into Selva. Selva all the way back to Cooper. Cooper's probably the, uh, the weak link in terms of tactical familiarity in this team. Everyone else is sort of now common and, and knowledgeable how, how we play. Kokobinski goes round his man. Galvez really into the box. Shoots again and Lesler makes the save once more. Yeah, five shots, four on target. Luznik, not a normal free kick taker, over the free kick. Uh, manages to keep hold of the ball as well. And wins another free kick. And this time, is uh, he's going to remain on free kick duties, Luznik. This one again hits it straight into the wall. Not his finest moments on a football pitch. As uh, Harris has it. And it looks like it's going to be nil-nil at half-time here at Roots Hall. At Folkestone temporary. Home. That's a poor kick out from the goalkeeper as Larea has picked it up. Can he put a cross in? Gets to the byline. Larea crosses it all the way across. Kokobinski can't get there, but he does keep it in. Lays it back into Harris. Harris all the way over to Larea. Larea! Oh, that had some power, but it's over the bar. Yeah, a bit of disappointing. Galvez over the free kick. In it goes. Headed sort of away, and can you believe it? It's not 1-0. Lawrence Gray has scored his first goal of the season for Charlton. Unbelievable stuff. We've been absolutely dominating this game. Galvez fires it in. It's Luznik with a header. And Gray's just there to, well, put it right next to the post. And that's really annoying. Luznik over the ball. Up to Medina. Picks him out quite well. Medina just waiting. Harris. Out to Larea. Larea comes forward with it. Into Sadake. Into Larea. Into Medina. Medina to Mackenzie. Mackenzie back to Medina. Medina all the way out left to Kokobinski. Kokobinski, can he beat his man? No, Galvez gets the better of him this time. Up to the goal scorer, Gray, who is uh, dallying on the ball a little bit. Lorenzo back to Price, goes long. Sims heads it down to Galvez. Morgan, Gray. Charlton are working this quite well. There's not long left in the half. As uh, Galvez lays it back to Gray. Ball across and Cooper with a fantastic save to push it out of the danger zone. At half time... Charlton somehow find themselves into the lead. And I'm going to say that is disappointing. And assertively, I think you've got what it takes to get us out of this. 
Yeah, these are the sort of games we really should be winning. Um, we're just gonna take our time with it. Let's not go through the middle. That didn't really work. Uh, yeah, this is all fine. Let's go much higher. We'll go back to the offside trap. I took that off where we came up the divisions, and I don't know if it's. It may suit us better to keep it on. Let's see where it goes to Howell. Howell over the top to Anderson. Larea intercepts. Good ball first time to McKenzie. McKenzie stops, beats his man. He keeps the ball. Ball in. Milner with a header, and let's see how it touches it over, but Milner was offside. Keep, keep working hard. Keep working hard. Larea. In it goes to McKenzie. Headed away. Laranjo's there, goes long. Sims does manage to get round Selva, but Selva gets back at him with a tackle. But Sims will use his pace to get there first. Ball across. Kokobinski with a really important header to get it away from Gray. Galvez to the byline. Anderson, he's hit the bar from about a yard out. And uh, bloody hell, we can find ourselves lucky there. Laranjo, ball in, but it's going to find absolutely nobody. And we're going to push you back up to an advanced playmaker on attack, I think, up there, because we need to get a bit more out of the ball moving the ball and getting these chances going. Medina not playing well either. Let's go Rodriguez on for Medina and Rodriguez can go to left wing back. And uh, let's see what we do. Milner wins a corner. This weird formation with bloody wingers and three at the back. It's so bizarre. McKenzie hits it, bends it. Not enough. Past the post. Mm, come on. Selva, I mean he's not really got a short option, picks out Harris well, Harris looks for Larea but he's intercepted, Selva wins the header, Harris brings it down, chops it back to Kokobinski, into Selva, Selva, oh it's poor and Sims is in and Cooper touches it over the bar, great save from the backup goalkeeper for Folkestone and I cannot believe this, I mean to be honest we haven't created any clear cut chances or half chances, Larea, Kokobinski, back to Larea. Kokobinski again. Ball in. Can't find Milner. Rodriguez will keep it alive. Gets into the box but can't get his cross off. Gray tackles him. And uh, it comes forward into Galvez. Galvez to Morgan. Back to Gray. Gray to Price. Price over the top looking for Trotter. Trotter intercepts it though. He wasn't looking for Trotter, obviously. Trotter. Uh, he was intercepted. Silver. That's a really shit pass. But that's a shit header. Larea. Robbed by Anderson. Howell goes long. Trotter wins it again. Sarake, we wanted him to get on the ball a little bit more. Laranjo robs him. Gray. Milner intercepts into Sarake. Sarake, edge of the box, shoots. Lasseur with a save. And it's cleared behind for a corner. Uh, Mackenzie off. And Bertie comes on. Let's swap you two over. Bertie hasn't really been very good coming off the bench for us this season. But we'll see how he does now. Gray turns his man and comes forward. Lays it back to Hal. And, uh, well, we're held up. I think the next sub is going to be Sarake for uh, Bjornsson in there. We could do Larea for Mar Mariani, but I think attacking players are the way to go. Purrington back to Anderson. Anderson into Purrington again. Purrington well intercepted by Sarake, who's probably about to come off unless he can create a goal here. It goes in. Milner! And we're cancelling the subs because Milner scores. Sarake with the assist. That will boost the ratings. And I do think that's a goal we deserve, although the chances wouldn't suggest it. It was a great interception from Sarake. He came forward and uh, just waited and waited and waited for the right time to play it into Milner's path. It was a sly tackle pass, something that you love to see on Football Manager that you don't really see in real life at all, to be honest. Now, with that assist, he hasn't really gone up the rating. So, uh, Bjornesson on for Sarake, and we will go with that. As uh, Luznik will intercept that easily into Kokobinski. Sarake. Sarake turns into Milner. Milner's there. Oh, he didn't get the shot off. And I'm taking Sarake off, but he is now coming into this game, so that could be an error. With uh, 72 minutes gone. Gray over the free kick. Pings it in. Headed away. Bjornsson, the sub. Here, that fresh legs. He can run at people. Bjornsson, keep going. He lays it into Milner. Gets around his man. Shot past the post. Unlucky. Unlucky. We've made all three subs. 15 minutes to go. Bjornsson into the wall. Gets it back. Robbed. And uh, Purlington will bring it away for Charlton. He just gets it away from the danger zone. And 10 minutes to go. Oh, it's just time's ticking away. Can we get that one last chance? 57% possession. We've definitely had more shots and created more opportunities than they have. Selva into Milner. Milner to Bjornsson. Bjornsson to Harris. Harris out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez keeps it in play but can't really do anything with it. And Galvez comes away. 
If we, could, we need to rob this ball to have any chance of a goal. Otherwise, it could be Charlton who make amends for their losing it. And Cooper with a good save to remain it, remain it at 1-1. That's terrible English. Keep it at 1-1. And that's going to be that, I think. A 1-1 draw against Charlton. Not bad. I mean, it does keep us pretty safe for the time being. But, uh, yeah, we're dominating that. Probably should have actually done a little bit better with our chances. But next up, Barnsley in a few days' time. There you go, 16th. Not the best. Barnsley are 13th, so we could catch up with them if we win. Go above them if we beat them, to be honest. But we've got a pretty decent gap. Eight points to the relegation zone, so nothing to panic about, I think, at the moment. We uh, just need to make sure we keep to topping up these little bits of results. As, uh, there you go. They're making a £3 million bid. No, we want £10 million. Negotiate that offer. Then come back to us in a few days. We'll be back for the game against Barnsley. See you then. So as we get ready to jump into the game against Barnsley, this is how we line up. Cooper in goal. Uh, Trotter, Costanza and Silva at the back. Roman comes in to left wing back. Laria right wing back again. Kokobinski and Harris in the middle. Sorake, McKenzie and Milner up front. McKenzie looks pretty angry, to be honest. Um, can't see the goalkeeper name. Pozzo, Iberian, Amion, O'Connor, Hassel, Kalu, Fiorini, X-Man City, by the looks of things. Via Brighton, MK Dons, and Wimbledon on loan, and Leighton Orient. Okoro and Brown up front. It'll be a tough game, this one against Barnsley. We're going to start on the uh, conservative. We owe Barnsley, apparently, after our last game. Um, we have faith. We have faith. We have faith to go out there and beat the Barnsley boys. As uh, away from home, so we're starting on cautious. Barnsley are a better team than us at the moment. So let's see what we can do. As O'Connor comes forward with it, Larea makes a good tackle and comes away with the ball. Lovely stuff. Pozzo down the line looking for Brown. Brown lays it back to Duke. Duke fires across, but Pozzo will pick up the loose ball. Who gets a shot off? Past the post. A 4-4-2. Generally, we do okay against the 4-4-2, but this is obviously the championship. Teams are better, and we are slightly out of our depth. So we need to hope that we can do well. Kokobinski will fire the corner in and fire it in. He does. Silva looked pretty free there. Pulled off his man, but couldn't get the header on target. First shot of the game for us isn't the best with a head of Silva, but uh, it's not a bad start. 13 minutes in, O'Connor. O'Connor and Cooper picks it out of the air. Obviously, Will Dennis knows this team. He knows the back three that plays in front of him, whoever it is. Cooper to Trotter. Back to Cooper. Costanzo. Cooper. Look at that. Playing it through the lines. Lovely stuff. Harris. What a ball over the top to McKenzie. McKenzie's in. What a save from the keeper. Milner will keep it alive. Sirake's shot was terrible. It was going well wide, but the defender blocked it and kept it in play. That was an opportunity for McKenzie to make it 1-0. Pozzo. In the right back position. Goes long and it should be easily intercepted and is. Selva. Cooper. Up to Kokobinski again. Can we play through the lines like we did before? Sadake. Great ball over the top. Milner hits it ferociously but not on target. And uh, I'm going to change you back again to the advanced playmaker on attack. I think that worked better for us in the second half against um, Charlton. So let's see what we can do. I want to say get creative to them in a minute. Pozzo. Florini. Can we nick the ball? Kalu. Kalu out to O'Connor. He's going to be pressurised. Hassel back to O'Connor. Good ball through to O'Connor. Looked offside, but um, I don't think he was. It's a goal kick. Not a free kick, so he was onside. Six shots. Only one on target so far. Iribarian into the wall. Iribarian, sorry, was his name. Can we nick the ball there? Iribarian forced backwards. He hasn't got too many options. Kalu into O'Connor. And they've worked that well, Barnsley, to get out of a bit of trouble. Hassel. Hassel out to Fiorini. Fiorini round the corner to Duke, who's got time to pick a cross. He does. Brown, wait, great save from Cooper. And Okoro, his first first goals of the season. Why is it always in Football Manager people score against you with their first goal of the season? It's infuriating. 25 minutes in, Barnsley get the lead. And that is disappointing if you ask a folks and a Victor fan. Costanzo, Siraki. Over the top looking for McKenzie. Straight away in behind. McKenzie to the byline. Tackled really well from O'Connor. And it's a corner. What can we do here? Kokobinski. He'll be looking for Silva at the back post again. There is Silva with a header over the bar. 25 minutes gone. And yeah, it's a game that could just get away from us again. Brown is under it. Silva wins the header. Okoro's there into Kalu. Kalu into O'Connor. We have got really bad form away from home, to be honest. Okoro. Okoro down the line to O'Connor. O'Connor held up. Hassel in. Okoro again. Back to Hassel. O'Connor. They're sort of working it into the box, but not really doing anything with it. Three half chances. One clear-cut chance, and we haven't scored a goal. 
is very disappointing when you create chances like that. Five minutes until half time. Let's quickly up it to positive for the last five minutes of the half and see if that makes a difference. I just don't want to play it into Barnsley's hands. That's the problem. I don't want to push too high. O'Connor or Hassel. Back to O'Connor. Into Kalu. Back to O'Connor. Into Kalu. And he goes to Fiorina with a good switch of play. Fiorini into Duke. Duke comes forward. He's got an overlap on the right if he wants to use it. Pozzo's there and he beats his man with a good first touch. Pozzo ball across. Brown's there and Cooper, I think, touched that onto the bar. He was offside anyway, but it was a good save from the goalkeeper. O'Connor ball in. Harris heads it away. Milner looks for McKenzie. We've got some runners coming forward. Can he pick a pass? McKenzie goes over the top. Sirake, great first touch. Sirake's in. Scores 1-1. One, one. On the stroke of half-time, Kingsley Sirake gets his first goal of the season. And why is it always first goals of the season? But McKenzie did really well here. I actually think it's all due to Sirake's touch, to be honest. Left-footed pass. Sirake chest it down. And then uh, a nice finish past the goalkeeper, who committed himself a little bit too early. 1-1. One, one. We get the goal we probably deserve. Um, calmly. Passionately. We've been the better team. And then calmly, you weren't that bad, but you can improve. I don't know if this is the best thing to do, this. I just It's just natural, because you know it gets green across the board, so it looks like it's good. Get creative, boys. Costanzo, Trotter. We're going to stay. We're going to drop to balanced for this start of the second half. Hassel, out to Duke, and uh, we don't know what's going to happen with that. I've accidentally hovered over someone. Selva, Harris. Back to Selva. Into Costanzo, Harris, Sorake, Kokobinski, Roman. Working it well. Roman... Um, didn't really check out. Oh, what a ball that is. Milner. Oh, good save from the keeper from Tubonetso. Tubonetso, I can't remember his name. I remember him last time we played Barnsley. I didn't know how to say his name. Kokobinski. Corner. In. Trotter. Oh, Thabonetso. That's it. Thabonetso. He's a good early ball, to be honest. The the Roman experiment isn't working brilliantly. So we're going to do... Kokobinski's going to go out there. And we're going to bring on... Yeah, Medina... Has a, to be fair, he's done nothing wrong with Dino. He didn't really deserve to be dropped, I don't think, from the, the start game. He just wasn't fit, but he's actually at 94%, so not too bad. Let's demand a little bit more from them, see what we can do. Throw in for Barnsley, though. Bogus is blocked, and Medina will pick it up. First involvement, Milner. Milner, acceleration and pace to get away from the defender. Pass the keeper, and Steve Milner gets his seventh goal of the season. And that is a superb goal on the hour mark, to be honest. 12 shots, 5 on target, 6 off target, and we've had a few good chances. Medina gets an assist as soon as he comes on. Milner, look at that burst of pace. It's ridiculously good. A nice touch to put the goalkeeper out of position, and he makes it 2-1 to Folkestone, which is what we want. It's what the people want, and we want to give the people what they want, which is Folkestone winning games. And this is much better. Up to 13th position now. Still just out of scrolling territory, but uh, it would put us above Barnsley. 15 minutes to go. And uh, oh, we're, at, we're down their end. McKenzie turns. Is he going to shoot? He's, well, he's past his man. He does shoot. And Thabonetto has to make a really good save. And I think just before we do this, uh, attacking corners, I want to leave centre-back. Actually, no. Let's leave. put the centre-back up. We'll leave the other central midfielder back there. Um, because you're taking it. So we want three people back. Do I want four people back? No, let's just leave three people back. I think that's the right thing to do. Uh, and then left again. We will bring back you. Stay back there. Confirm the changes and play. So we should now see... Oh, no, three, because Kokobinski's the taker. Yeah. Kokobinski over it. If we can nick another goal here, I'd be delighted. McKenzie with the header and Thermanetso touches it over the bar again. Ten minutes to go. If we can just have ten minutes worth of corners, that would be lovely. A bit of praise for them. As uh, Can we hold on and get this win? Now, we've been very susceptible to late goals again this season. So with, I've left it too late. I've left it too late. I wanted to do it with three minutes to go. Bree in. Costanzo heads it away. Harris flicks it on. McKenzie will get there. He's gone back towards his own goal. Silver up towards Sadake. Beaten in the air. Hassel. Okoro. Back to Hassel. I just need them to not score from this chance. And Cooper makes the save. Right then. Lots of wasting time. Much lower tempo, much shorter passing. Don't pass into space. Attack very narrow. Hold shape, regroup, slow place down. Out of possession. Bang, bang. Don't use offside trap. Don't go and press them. In fact, we don't want to come all the way back here, probably. We want to be something like standard, standard, I think. Uh, really narrow. 
stay on your feet, don't have to do that, and we'll tightly mark them. Right, that should hunker everything down as long as we've made enough, as long as the ball goes out and we can make those changes. As Milner comes forward with it, and he's tackled well by Bogus, and there is four minutes of injury time, and that has gone, and if they don't score now, we've won. Brilliant to Brown. Back to the man. He's headed away. Blow the whistle, referee. It goes back into the box. Cooper claims it really well. And I think we're going to get a vital win against Barnsley. 2-1 away from home. Lovely stuff. 14 shots, 7 on target. Uh, man of the match is Kingsley Sarake. Does really well. Much as, Seems to really prefer playing in that, um, that attacking playmaker role in there. Which is really, really good. As Man United go top of the Premier League as well. What a day. What a day for me. Uh... Brantley are brushed aside. Sirake drives forward. Um, no assists. Rating nine dribbles made four. Can we praise you for anything? Quality chances. Passing was good. I mean, let's risk the passing. Uh, he said he's happy with that. And uh, Ross, you can go and take all the glory in the press conference. There we go. Two pretty decent results. A draw and a win. A win away, finally, as well. Really good. If you look at this, a 4-0 loss away. Okay, we won at Hull recently. 2-1 loss away. 4-2 loss away. 1-0 loss away. It's been an interesting start to the season. I think we'll come back probably there. Leeds and West Brom as we enter two away games to start December. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, I think we'll come back for Leeds United and West Bromwich Albion. Two big games as we find ourselves up to 13th, which is mid-table. Because 12th is exactly mid-table. So 13th is class as mid-table as well. But only five points off the playoffs. Really not that bad. Uh, with 11 points to the relegation zone, which is probably the more important one to focus on. But if you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like, subscribe, and comment on the video below. Um, let me know where you think we're going to finish this year in this season, and have we got enough about us to mount a late playoff race, potentially. Um, yeah, probably not. Thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.